In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create JIRA reports. If you've been working with JIRA, you know how important it is to effectively track and manage your projects. And reports play a crucial role in this process. They help us visualize progress, identify bottlenecks, and generally keep everything on track. Let's dive right in, starting from the basics on your JIRA dashboard. First up, navigate to your work in JIRA. You want to make sure you're setting the groundwork to access your project seamlessly. This is your personal dashboard in JIRA, where you'll typically see any tasks assigned to you, things you're watching, and any recent activity. This is your launchpad for interacting with various projects you're involved in. Next, we'll proceed to selecting the project you want to create a report for. This part is essential because reports are perfect for keeping tabs on specific projects, so ensure you're clear on which project is your current focus. As you click on the project, it will open up a dedicated view that will let you manage everything related to that specific initiative. From backlogs to sprints, you've got it all just a click away. Now, onto the project settings. After selecting your project, direct your attention to the left side of the screen. You'll see a menu with various options. Click on project settings. This area is like the control room for your project. Here you can configure a myriad of options that control what features are available and how they operate. Once in the project settings, look for the features section. This section governs the different functionalities available to your project, one of which is reports. Go ahead and click on features. This is where Jira allows us to tailor the project tools and options to better fit our workflow needs. Moving further along on the features page, we need to make sure that the reports feature is enabled. This involves toggling on the report function. You'll see a toggle switch beside the reports option. At this point, if it's not already turned on, you need to enable it. Enabling reports at this stage is crucial because if the reports feature isn't activated, we won't be able to generate or view any reports for our project. With the reports feature now enabled, navigate back to the project to access reports. You can do this by clicking back to project from the project features page. This action will direct you to the main project screen where you initially started. It's like circling back to the main path after a small detour to equip ourselves with all necessary tools. Back on the project main page, find and click on the reports section. This will be situated in the project menu, which is typically positioned on the left hand side. Selecting reports will present you with a list of available reporting options. Reports are powerful, offering visuals and data to help narrate the story of the project as it unfolds. Now you'll need to decide which type of report will best serve your needs. You'll find that JIRA offers an array of options, each designed to provide insights and data in different ways, depending on the aspect of the project you're looking to analyze. Whether you're looking into sprint insights, backlog health or velocity trends, there's a report tailored to your needs. To demonstrate a particularly insightful option, let's look at the cumulative flow diagram. Click on the cumulative flow diagram from the reports menu. This type of report is particularly beneficial for visualizing the progress of tasks over time. It allows you to see the work items as they move through different stages of completion, giving you a clear view of bottlenecks and work distribution. This type of report can be invaluable in maintaining an efficient workflow and making data-driven decisions. So by following these steps, you now have a cumulative flow diagram in front of you. It's a perfect tool for project managers and teams to have a consistent understanding of their work process, visualize progress in a streamlined visual, and troubleshoot performance bottlenecks quickly. In summary, creating JIRA reports is a vital skill for anyone deeply involved in managing or overseeing projects using JIRA. Reports not only aid in tracking progress, but also facilitate evidence-based decision-making, thus contributing significantly to achieving project success. Thank you for tuning into our video tutorial today, and I hope you found these instructions on creating JIRA reports useful. Stay tuned for more insightful tutorials as we continue to explore ways to optimize your productivity and project management efficiency with JIRA. Until next time, take care and happy reporting.